two games cancelled in the league. Uh, this was a great opportunity and a good day to play and get some yards into the players' legs. Very much so, Jack. You know, um, when I was asked about the, obviously the games being off, you know, my immediate reaction was, um, I'm delighted that we have young men playing in the Irish League who are representing the country. So that was the, the first thing. The second thing was, well, can we keep ourselves active? And Keith Long and Bohemians very kindly came up to us today. They had a number of players uh, away in international duty. So they had a free, free weekend and, and uh, it was of mutual benefit. So first class, you know, Bohemians at their class side, you know, they played six rounds in Europe this year, uh, did fabulously well. Um, it was nice to see Kieran Kelly back. Uh, Kieran was with us for for a part of it, went back down, and yeah. and uh, dare I say, you can see how Palomina helped him. He did very well today, <laughs> but uh, no good exercise, Jack. Uh, very very pleased, and I thought we showed up uh, and uh, and did very well. And they're a full time outfit, which is makes it a really good workout for our lads. Very much so, because you know that's what we will find increasingly uh, in the challenge for us this year, this year. So you know. The, the, the pleasing thing for me was they were quite annoyed with, with, with some of the goals because they could they could have been preventable. And, you know, I, I explained to them that sometimes when you're full-time, you, you're maybe at times quicker to think, quicker to spot things, quicker to do things. Um, but over the piece, I thought, I thought we played very well and uh, particularly pleased uh, with the two goals. And second half, I thought we created quite a number of chances. You've lost the game, but uh, what pleased you most about the game? Um, as I suppose the, the basics, Jack, again, attitude, commitment, desire, um, wanting to improve uh, a, a, and playing together very much as a, as a group, you know, supporting one another, helping one another. Um, and in terms of the quality of the football, I thought, you know, we, you know, people could have not been entertained, so to speak, because we played some football which was very easy on the eye. It's back to bread and butter on Friday night at the Oval. That's always a tough assignment. Yeah, it's it's going to be difficult. Of that, there's no doubt. And um, you know, particularly then on the Friday night, you know, we're, we're asking the boys to to look after themselves as best as possible. You know, we're going as the part timers to play against the full timers on a Friday evening. Um, so that's the challenge. But uh, that's also the opportunity. So we're looking forward to it. How uh, disappointed were you with the opening game and the result at Warren Point? We were bitterly disappointed, Jack. Um, the, the analysis is, is is very simple. You know, first 40 minutes in particular, where I thought we played really well. Uh, we got one goal, really, with the amount of dominance and chances created. We should have been more than one goal to the good. And coming into the last five minutes of the first half, we we we, we switched off, but. If we didn't have bad luck that day, we probably would have had no luck. You know, they had a deflective shot, pushed onto the crossbar by Jordan, and then it comes down and hits him in the back and goes in. You know, it's yeah. freakish. Um, then, second half, Dougie Wilson, just a reaction. Um, pulled the, the boy back, sent off, and for the next, does it say, 40 minutes after that, well, 42 or 43, I thought we were, were certainly the, the better side, but unfortunately just couldn't get that equalising goal. So had lots of positives fr from it. Um, of course, disappointed with, with the result, um, but lots of positives, uh, particularly with the, the new players who have come in and joined us. Good luck at the Oval Boys. Thanks very much, Jack.